Good day people, welcome to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Today's video is uh, really important who actually for people who actually follow me on gold. Uh, I have made some significant changes in my labeling and I wanted to share it with you guys as soon as possible. So let's have a look at uh, our weekly chart. And I hope you guys see the major difference. I'm expecting that we have already created either uh, wave 1 here, just give me apologies here, it was not supposed to be wave 3, it is supposed to be wave 1. And then this is wave 2 I'm considering of a uh, even longer cycle. And uh, after that cycle has a uh, huge wave is completed, uh, that probably started somewhere back in 1920s uh, earlier, uh, is completed, we have seen correction and then we have seen prices moving up. So I have considered this as a bottom and I'm considering this as wave 1 and this as wave 2 and considering this wave 3 and 4. A couple of reasons are very important that I wanted to discuss. First of all the, the reaction that we got off the support horizontal support area. The second point is that all these three support areas are relying are lying on the same trend line. So this gives us pretty good uh, sense of uh, kind of trend that is generated off this line. So if this is whole is a trend, then we can consider that this is wave 1 and this is wave 2 and then we have wave 3 which is falling right on um, the trend line giving us wave 4. So what has what is going to confirm our what is going to confirm our uh, uh, wave pattern and wave labeling and that is I'm expecting that we when you see strength in silver as I already indicated we are going to see a sharper price movement uh, in in the as a wave 5 structure so remember that it is going to be wave 5 so even if you miss out uh, those don't get it right on the top because right after wave 5 is completed we are expecting that it will come as a correction then you will see a correction of the whole wave starting from this bottom all to the over end but that will actually confirm one thing and that is we have created a bottom right over here so this is my main labeling now I'm considering that we have probably already completed the wave 4 uh, you can consider it as a double zigzag and uh, that's what we have created and then we are seeing nice price action already happening on hourly chart if you look at it so we're already kind of seeing just a nice uptick and I, I'm expecting that this strength will continue let's have a look at uh, silver I would like to declare that I'm changing my labeling in the silver as well I wanted to make a separate video for silver but because of the shortage of time I'm mixing it in silver and the important thing I'm considering in silver is that we have created the bottom right over here so we might not be going down here it means if we already have a bottom here for a fiber structure that means we are gonna have uh, the strength on and on there is even very less likely for silver to make that bottom uh, that you were expecting earlier although I clearly stated that I'm expecting initially prices to go up and then down but I'm not expecting a huge bearish price movement in silver because of different factors I have noted and uh, that is actually giving us an indication that this was the bottom we have created this probably wave 1 or 2 3 4 or 5 or this could be even an extended 5 wave initially we were only considering as a ending diagonal we were only considering it as ending diagonal so we'll have to relabel that price so we can start taking these price movement ahead Mm, and uh, we can delete them because that could be one two one two as well right so if this is one and two and this whole price movement is with one and two so that could also be occurring considering that in that case this will not turn to be an ending diagonal the price action still stays up in that direction the major point is that uh, although the premium is really high in silver it does not look that we are going to get less premium credit pretty soon but uh, and to compensate that I'm personally buying on CFD I'm yet not ready to pay 34 35 dollar per ounce uh, for physical silver so I'm compensating by by buying in CFD and playing it long run instead of paying short term game once again I repeat that I believe that we have already created a bottom in silver and I believe that we already created a bottom in gold as well so I wanted to bring it to your attention thank you so much for uh, paying attention and have a good one see you guys during the week sometime uh, wish you good luck with your trading have a good one